Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Joren or Triplus as I like to make myself known online. And today we will be doing a very quick video. Um, I just went to Ikea and I saw this lying around and I just had to pick it up to play around because of course it's a new thread free device. I think this has been around for a while. Uh, it's a thread free shortcut button. Shortcut button, I'm sorry. Um, and well, it's thread free. I had to play around with it because I want to test all the thread free things. So let's take a quick look at the box. Um, sorry, other way around. Uh, so shortcut button, it contains the button, so a single click button, let's say, a battery, and then apparently six, what I assume are these, um, like these little um, stickers that you can put on top to indicate what you want to do with it. So let's open it up. So in here we of course have the button and the battery. I'm not sure if that's an extra battery or if you still need to install it. So let's take a look at that in a second. Then we indeed have six buttons or six stickers. So three pre-programmed and then three that you apparently can draw yourselves, which is not a bad idea actually, but I can't really draw. So let's see what we do with that. And then the heaviest thing from this whole box is the instruction manual. Um, I'm not sure why we have two. There's even supposed to be some kind of a glass cover apparently. Well, let's first have a look at the product itself. So this is the product. I indeed, I can see it here. So this is a magnet as we have on a lot of buttons. This is even another um, sticker thing, it seems. Okay, and this is where you can put it. And so that means that you can put it in here and then close this up again. And then you can see it's stuck in there. It's not very straight at the moment, but so while these are indeed stickers, I think you can just put anything in here. Um, so that's, that's a good idea. You can print something yourself and, um, and go ahead. So I don't need that. Uh, so let's open it up, I would say. Okay, so before closing it up again, let's start the pairing with Home Assistant. So um, I'm going to add a switch. I have noticed that it's not under IKEA yet, so I'm just going to try other. It's not in the manual, but my assumption is that we need to press this four times within five seconds and something will blink. Okay, so I see a red blinking light in the top right there. I don't see it. Oh, okay, it's still red. We can also see it in the front. So looking around, it seems that it is in fact available in Decons, but not yet in Foscon, meaning that we cannot modify it yet via the um, Foscon UI, but it will be available in Decons. And my assumption is that very soon it will also be available in Foscon. Um, let's have a look in Home Assistant. Let's go to the developer tools. Let's listen for the Decons event. So indeed, Strat Free Shortcut button. 1002 is a short press. Yes, let's do a long press. So 01 is the long press and then 03 is the release. Let's try to do a du double press and then we have two. So indeed, uh, there is no double press. It's only single press and long press. So that's the device, seems to be working well. My assumption is that the Foscon support for this will be there any, any day. So that's it, the IKEA Trad Free shortcut button 
with some additional stickers and whatever that you can use for it. Um, seems to be working quite well. Happy to be playing around with it and find a good use for this. Thanks to everyone for watching this short video. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you again in the next one. Bye!